All right, so I've got my head, I've got my torso that it's connecting to. It's very important that the spine kind of flows through. And then you can see how if I just soften and erase and blend, I can merge the two. And once I've gotten rid of the hard edges, which I have, I can even make my brush bigger at a lower opacity and start kind of blending them and then at an even lower opacity and really kind of control it so that it all does feel like it connects. Now these are the internal edges. I'm not too concerned about the external edges of my creature. I just want to make sure my anatomy makes sense at the moment. And then if there's parts and transitions and seams that don't make sense, well then that's what other elements will be helpful for. Like maybe some of those orchid elements. I'm doing a lot of erasing. My computer is struggling to keep up with me. But, And this is all before doing kind of color corrections, too. So before I move too much further, let me do a quick levels and color balance to that bison. Because I'm just taking it as is. It's a good time to save it as well. So let me collapse the head group. And now just work on the body and go to image, levels. Push in the mid-tone slider to either side. It feels like I need to go just a tad darker, right? Maybe limit the highlights a little bit. Maybe limit the shadows a tiny bit. I don't know. Okay, then I'm going to go to color balance, my favorite. I'm going to take a lot of this yellow out of it. Especially in the highlights. I'm looking for kind of a neutral color, not a bright Yellowstone sunlight color. And in the shadows, put a little bit more of those blues in there. And I can go back to the midtones. Maybe put a little bit more red in the midtones. More green in the highlights. Yeah, that's looking good. And then after any adjustment, you can hit Command Z and C. It should help. You only want to do things that help. Okay, next. Let's see, I need the front legs. Thinking of my sketch. Now all of this stuff could be useful. It's kind of fill for different areas. But for the most part, I've got the, the big part of the coat I need. I mean, I might need something for my back legs. Like this. That really matches the uh, Pokemon well. Let's do a rough cut here. Just for the back legs. Duplicate it. Push it back behind the body. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, and now instead of um, Deleting from it just as it is, I'm going to duplicate it because I think there's a lot there. And then I'm going to erase away 100% opacity, big soft edge brush to blend from the duplicate. So in case I erase too much, Peter's got to catch up with me. Okay. 
Because I'm asking a lot of it right now. First, I get rid of that hard edge. So whenever my computer starts to be a little slow, I immediately save it. <laughs> it worries me. Photoshop will crash. Okay, but as I'm looking at this, I mean, it's, it's kind of great. It just really matches that well. <laughs> and you can see the feet. And you can see just enough anatomy to have like the arms there from this dog. And you got the head jutting out. So I might keep more of this than I thought I would. So we'll see. But let's see if, yeah, now, now the eraser is working for me. So I'm just getting rid of that hard edge so that I can start blending it. And I'm not worried about the outside edges at all. So now I go to a lower opacity eraser. And then I start just transitioning it. Okay, and now I can play with levels. Maybe brighten this up a little bit. So it matches the rest of the stuff I've done. pretty good. And now color, I mean the color is pretty much right there, but it, you know, I should play with color balance. Don't want it to look too warm because it was shot outside. Let's take a little bit of the yellows out. A little bit of the reds back in. A little bit of the blues into the shadows. Okay. So then I can try warping it and just adjusting the anatomy a little bit. Come on. That didn't do it. See if I like that better. Yeah, I do. All right. So now I have to decide do I want to use the feet or not? the legs, and the one I was kind of most interested in using was this, these tortoise legs, but they're kind of the wrong angle, see if I flip it, stretch it, Rotate it. Yeah, in the interest of simplicity, I don't think so. So what I'll do is I'll just take a little component of it that I like, which is this foot, which is just so nicely in focus, duplicate it, and see where I can use it. And then I'm going to copy and paste that, duplicate it, transform it, like flip it horizontally. Right. And then warp it. So it doesn't just look copy and pasted.
and use that for the back foot. And then let's adjust the levels on them. They're going to be darker. If they're in shadow, they're going to have limited highlights. And then their color, their color balance should be a little bit more towards the reds. Same thing with the one in the front. Okay, what other components do I need? I think the orchid stuff. So this is kind of the most interesting orchid asset. I'm going to use the magic wand. immediately rasterize it and just get rid of all the black and I'm going to uncheck contiguous so it just gets rid of all the black what nice about, about reference that's cut off of one one thing now, I was thinking that this could be kind of a a skirt but I think where it's most needed is as a ridge along the spine and into the head. Kind of like a stegosaurus or something. Have to warp it with the anatomy. Makes it look a little bit more like a sea creature, too. And now, I can do the lovely job of cutting it all out. The focused parts from the unfocused parts. Which is not great fun. So, do a rough cut. Like so. Okay, and as weird as it is, I'm going to make a new layer on top of my background layer and fill that entire thing in with gray. This will hide my sketch temporarily. I'm going to hide my guides. Actually, before I do that, I can select every layer above and just move it to be within my print range. And then I can hide my guides. And now these are all the different kind of components I need to seam together and make work. So let's take that orchid component. Let's play with its color balance and levels. I'm going to make it a little darker in its shadow. Limit its highlights somewhat. Go to color balance. Push a little bit of the yellows out. It doesn't take much. 